Welcome back. Uh, now we have something that's very interesting that's uh, starting up in Egypt. We have the Erlin syndrome, which is also referred to sometimes as the Mears Erlin syndrome, Scoptic sensitivity syndrome, and visual stress. It's all about a perceptual processing disorder. It is not an optical problem as it seems. It is a problem with the brain's ability to process visual information. This problem tends to run in families and is not currently identified by other standardized educational or medical tests. And uh, with us, joining us today, is a certified uh, early screener, uh, Rasha Anwar. Hello, Rasha. Hello. How are you? Thank you so much for joining us. So uh, to start with, I'd like to ask you more about the syndromes of the Erlen. Uh, you just defined it, uh, Salman. Thank you for defining it. And, uh, I don't know if I defined it correctly or not. Yes, Maybe from you. Yes, totally <laughs> correct. Don't worry. Uh, first, I would like to thank you all for uh, giving, me, giving me this opportunity to talk You're about welcome. it and to create it's awareness. It's a pleasure having you. Thank you so much. Uh, I th now it's my mission to raise awareness in about Erlen syndrome in Egypt because it's totally unheard of or almost totally unheard of in spite of the fact that it was, has been discovered 30 years ago in the States and applied in more than 45 countries worldwide including the Arab region and the pioneer country in this is Jordan. Uh, Erlen syndrome is as you said is a perceptual dysfunction in the brain in processing the information that passes from the eyes to the brain. So the eyes should be normal, functioning and organic. But how the brain perceives this uh, visual uh, information, this is the problem and this is the function. We can uh, think about it like uh, optical illusion. If you look at an optical illusion, you might find that the, the picture moves or changes or, or some colors starts to, uh, to, to, to show why there is no colors. And so uh, at this time, the brain is, is the cause of the dysfunction, not the eye. Uh, also, it will help us to, to yani, understand much better the uh, early syndrome, uh, the eye, uh, the, glass, uh, the color glasses for 3D movies. Uh, I think any one of us uh, went to, to uh, 3D movies. Yeah, yeah, so when you put on the colored uh, glasses, so you can see the 3D movies and everything is the brain visualizes yes, visualizes and it perception perceive it in three dimensions when you put it off you start to see flat picture Correct. blurry and you're not, uh, not clear. comfortable yes so so it's again the brain uh, is the cause of the perception and how we can see and, and by the way also we'd like to uh, draw the attention to the uh, viewers you also bought a video which is right now showing on the screen it's if you'd like to it's a very uh, interesting video it's about that. the distortion that these people saw and they never saw be they never know before that they see like this they never know before that they see in different way that no the people see uh, any one of us who uh, who just look a while a yani, uh, short uh, time of yani, watching this or trying to read this gets uh, very uh, bothered and yeah, you stop reading completely. Uh, symptoms of the early syndrome, we can group them in five categories. So first of all, let me just ask you, when did you start, now there's um, something called, it's like an association or you started up something mm -hmm. called yes, an, an early Erlen? Egypt center. It's okay. the latest addition to more than 170 centers yeah. worldwide. You are the first center now yes. in Egypt. Yes, very authorized center in Egypt. We are authorized from International uh, Institute of uh, Erlen in International Institute. 170 centers worldwide. across uh, each country. The, all all over the world. Worldwide. We are now uh, 47 countries worldwide, and there are a lot of uh, screeners and diagnosticians everywhere. Uh, this is the first one because I got very offended that we are far behind in helping these struggling people who are silently suffering and nobody are helping them. Uh, let me also, sorry to interrupt you, just one more question. And how did you actually know about the syndrome or how, how did it draw your attention to start such a a new uh, uh, actually it's personal history because I have uh, my own child who has learning difficulty and uh, attention deficit disorder okay. uh, I tried as much as I can which to is help the ADHD, him. Yeah, right. ADHD. Okay. but that's different than this one but Lani, statistically uh, each three persons with ADHD they suffer uh, at the same time with early syndrome mm -hmm. so uh, it's like I found a treasure I found it amazing and a breakthrough in this field and how they can help 
to uh, help the child. Yes. Uh, especially because it's very difficult. And uh, my focus now is on children in early uh, education level. Because as early as possible, if you can help this child... Well, can you tell the viewers, how can we early detect this uh, disease? Yeah, I need Are there certain the symptoms or...? Yes. Each parent, especially the mother, who spends uh, the most time with her What did she actually notice? Uh, if he starts to uh, stop reading after a short period of time, uh, there are some triggers that make him stop reading. Uh, she should ask him the right questions. Why he stopped reading? Why, uh, yani what bothered him and made him stop reading? Maybe he starts to uh, have headaches. Maybe he starts to have... Uh, the eyes uh, fatigue or strain or maybe he doesn't see well maybe he starts to see the letters and the lines are moving or the numbers are floating on the page and this is how Erlen, Helen Erlen uh, discovered this uh, symptom she started to write the, the, to ask the right questions at the right time for the adults with learning difficulties they were a group of uh, 55 college students who reached university education and still struggled with reading so this was a uh, yani, very mysterious. Quite late. Yeah. Yeah, quite late, and there was something blocking their, their abilities and hinders their, uh, their potential. And that was a long period back, or is it something... It, it started in the early 80s, so it's now more than three decades. Yes. Yeah. But we're quite late in, in terms yes. of tackling... Yeah, we are quite late, of course. But how deep is it in Egypt? Yani, we are we are just starting. Yani, yeah, we started. Practicing. How do you discover? I mean, do you as do you do you go to schools or? No, I, I mean, like how do you? I research it. I I read a lot about it and find out okay, maybe this will help my uh, my son. And I took him for screening. We traveled to Jordan, and we uh, met there a fantastic lady who was very helpful and she was she was very professional. And she discovered that he has severe Erlen syndrome and it affects his reading, his writing, uh, his self-esteem, uh, socially, emotionally, in all aspects. Uh, in the screening session, she was able to identify that there is a problem and she also could reach the, the severity of it, how severe it is and how it affects all his uh, functions in all aspects. And the second part of the screening, she could reach the, the right color that uh, eliminate all these distortions that he sees on the, on the print page yes. and even in the environment. But uh, and, and your assessment, is it is it something that is widespread in Egypt? We like are just uh, starting. As I told you, I started to public awareness. I now go to schools. But, but, you, but you did not yet detect the I cases? I started detecting. Okay. I, some persons no reports seen. announced yet about it? We have started already practicing and we detected a lot of kids and... Uh, I mean nothing others. from the ministry... Uh, no, not uh, yet, health. not recognized yet. Yeah. I will uh, yani try to build a network with the uh, Ministry of Education, with schools... So it's just in the beginning to try to detect yes. if the disease yes. is spread in Egypt. It's not a disease. It's, 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 it's a syndrome. It's a syndrome. It's, it's like a, it's it's a, a little bit of a, yes. a, a okay. difficulty. Yes. And, and do the children who have the uh, Erlen syndrome, are they able to integrate in normal schools? Of course, they are able to. They're in normal schools, yes, normal classes. Yes, we, are, we can uh, join any ministry in class, but the teachers sh should be aware of... They should be aware of that syndrome and to notice it. Yes, and accommodate them because they still need... As we're also showing the other video that you, you got us. These uh, are the right. distortions. Um, the people will see how distorted pictures, they see how... Yeah. So, the so the we suggest also that the teachers should know about it to be able to recognize and identify uh, and the are syndrome. And the first person to detect if these people could be a potential candidate. And to be able to tell the parents yes. and draw their yes. attention. Yes. So it needs uh, joint efforts and awareness from the family and from the and school. And from the school as well. Yes. And, and usually how is the cure? Uh, the treatment for it is so simple, like just a colored sheet of... of uh, transparency like this. Uh, there is a problem of uh, yani accommodation of the contrast between the white background of the page and the black print. Uh, these people who has Erlen syndrome, uh, they have problem in this. When we change the background color with any other color, we have 10 colors in the overlay, and even the um, uh, glasses, they are almost 50 or less than 50 colors. It's very uh, uh, yani advanced technology, colorless yes. technology. 
when you change the background color, it deletes or eliminates all the symptoms that the person so was telling you for. Oh, okay. So if, if needs, we put him under um, an intensive um, work uh, or reading load, as if he reaches 10 or 20 or 30 or one hour reading. So to in a sense, he process. perceives the reading and words in color. Is that yes, what the, the brain color background? Mm. So the it would be a black print as well, but just the background yes, would be. Yes, we change the, the the background. We use different sheets, and in a very. Yeah, Does yeah. each color resemble something, or he can just no, change? No, You know, everybody is unique, and his brain is unique. So each so he's color. So to try. It's going to be yes, a trial and error. Which color is more comfortable? Until we find the most proper color that eliminates all the symptoms that he felt before. And then and he starts to read slowly, it's a class. comprehend it's a class. closely. No, this at this uh, yani level, this is transparency only. It will yes. help in reading only. Okay. But the next and the, the, the most appropriate uh, tool is the colored glasses, tinted filters. You can wear it like uh, glasses, and it uh, eliminates all the distortions in the environment, not so only so in the face. So it's, it's not a cure. It's it's a way to to handle the, the syndrome. But it's yes, not, it's, it's not, very it's not simple, it's not expensive. Very just simple. Putting, uh, just it doesn't need it's just like Actually, like I would therapy. think the most important thing is identifying and detecting yes. the syndrome. I think once you do, it's very yes, simple, it's but it, I think it's more problematic in actually identifying it. Yes, uh, easy technique to I uh, identify. It's actually just it takes uh, solve a couple it. of hours to, to yeah. detect it and to, to choose the proper color to help him. Yeah. So it just needs that the people, the, the parents and the teachers to be aware of such a uh, simple answer and uh, try to, uh, to get the kids to be assessed for them. Mm -hmm. So in general, um, what is your aspiration for this? Because definitely um, with, with the mass population, and uh, uh, you mentioned 47 countries having the census, so definitely they also detected this yes. syndrome, and it would help a lot of children who doesn't even know that you ha they have It's not only problems. children, by the way, it's even it could others, be, because it could this be is, 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 is uh, it's a general life syndrome. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. I mean so it helps a lot of people in workplace, in uh, uh, depth perception. A lot of people have driving problems, uh, driving at night, the headlights uh, at the night uh, deserves them. Drive day like this, you cannot uh, uh, stand for it. Uh, yes. really so if, them a lot. If, uh, the, if any of your viewers would be interested to reach you, they would have to just Google the Erlen uh, Syndrome in yeah, Cairo. And a, you would there have is a website for Erlen, which is erlensyndrome.com. And there is a self test, very uh, straightforward self test. It will tell you if you are a potential candidate or not. It makes or raises a self awareness to each one. Uh, to be, yani he will uh, notice something about himself that he doesn't uh, put in mind before. It, it will be very informative and very helping and put people on the right direction. Yes, at the end, uh, Rashan, would like to thank you very much for joining thank us. Thank you very and much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Now, uh, the international expert in the field of marketing, Jamie Turner, held a seminar to discuss marketing via mobile phones. Linda Abdelatif has more details in the upcoming report.